Today is about the power of you. You will change the world. You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast. <laughs> Do the damn thing. Where we talk to visionary dreamers like you about living their best life. Fulfill the highest, truest expression of yourself. It's time to step into the past, present, and future with an open and healthy mind. Now let's talk. Greetings, 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 my visionary dreamers. How's everybody doing on Let's Talk Sunday? This is ADI, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, from the world, from some real bullshit. And you are listening to Chronicles of Living podcast show, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. You know us extraordinary folk out here doing the damn thing the best way we can. And today, oh, first I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you all. This is the reason why I come on here every Sunday as much as I can. It is for you and it's for me too as a reminder each topic. So for the newcomers out there, the show is just simply about whatever the topic is. Just talk on that and see where spirit goes and what are the messages that we all can receive to apply to our lives, to help us on our path and on our journey to make it better, um, to make it even sweeter than it is right now. Okay, that's basically what this show is, a little bit of motivation to kickstart your week, encouragement, inspiration, whatever way you can take it. Okay, so the topic of today is... (laughs) <laughs> Dog on it, I forgot the topic. <laughs> you need a practical plan for your dreams. Your dreams need a pra- practical plan. Your dreams need a practical plan. Hey, brain freeze for a minute. But yeah, so I just, sometimes I like to read the definition of different words because, you know, we throw around words and we kind of forget a little bit of the definition because it can mean so many different things. So, just, you know, looking up practical um, of or, or concern with the actual doing or use of something rather than with theory and ideas. So, in other words, just not, you know, we, we have these dreams, we have these visions, um, we have these goals, and we could kind of see the end result, Right. Um, and sometimes we can want the end result like ASAP. We want it to happen ASAP. I think I could speak for a lot of us, you know, in that situation, whatever it is, whatever the dream, the vision, the goal is, you know, we might want it like right away, or we might think we need it to happen right away, you know, and we can miss a few, um, steps that, that are, you know, it's just not an idea. It's just not a theory. And people that know me, they know I dream really, really big. And a lot of people, um, they like, uh, how can it happen? No, oh, that's just too much or whatever like that. But I, myself, whatever I dream, I'm going to some kind of way. I'm co- coexisting with God and we're going to talk this thing over and we're going to make the plan and make it happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the dream, it can be really big, but of course we have to take baby steps for it to get to that big picture, you know, but you got to keep your eye on the prize while you're going through the process. In the process, you're going to have a lot of curveballs that's going to be thrown at you to see just how bad you want that thing, just how bad you want that dream, that vision, that goal to be a reality, So that's where the practical plan comes into place, you know? So, I mean, a lot of times I have to use myself because of my experience and whatever my dreams or my visions is, you know, some have failed, some have made it, some have stopped, you know? So for example, practical plan, let's say this podcast show. Okay. I thought about the podcast show, but I had no clue of where to start and how to create a podcast show three years ago, right? So what is a practical plan? I see this vision. I can see me, you know, on the mic and talking to people all around the world. 
But how is it that I can make it happen? Okay, what do you do first? You research. If you don't have nobody around you that has that knowledge, and even if you do, I always push people to do their own homework because my thing is I like to empower people to believe in themselves and not just to believe that they need to count or rely on someone else to help their dream to become a reality. Yes, we do need to, um, you know, if you got too much pride, you need to put it aside. And if you know somebody that's already doing what you what you want to do, definitely, you know, um, consult with them, but don't rely on them. You get what I'm saying? Because everybody has their own stuff going on. And so you don't want to be relying on nobody and then being, you know, waiting for them when you could be taking your baby steps for yourself to draw out your practical plan. And then when you get in touch with the people that you need to help you out, you already got a little plan. And then, you know, you two or three or whoever group can go over that plan and just start dissecting it and seeing what makes sense, what's doable for you so that you won't get overwhelmed. You get what I'm saying? So back to the, to when I started the podcast, I had the first research. What is a podcast? What is uh, a podcast? What does it consist of? Um, you know, how many minutes is the average podcast? Or, you know, what are the best platforms? I did all that research, went through all the different podcast platforms, wrote, took my notes and, and wrote down, you know, the pros and cons of each one, each platform, um, you know, how long they've been in existence, um, looked at the reviews. I mean, I really did my homework before I narrowed it down to the main platform that I want to, uh, you know, come at you live from. You get what I'm saying? I had to look at what are the connections, what, what type of mics, all of this stuff I had to research. That was a part of my practical plan. You know what I mean? In the beginning. And then I had to look at, okay, down the line, when I'm ready to make money from it, how is it that I can make money from it? Um, you know, what, what are the procedures I need to take to get the money? All of this stuff I had to buckle down because this was my dream. You know what I'm saying? No, not the listeners, not you guys out there dream. If you just come across my podcast, you don't know the journey that I went through to get to this point. You know, and I had to look at, OK, if I'm traveling, because if it's a weekly thing, you're not going to always be available in, a, in your house or in your same spot every Sunday. Some might might be able to do that, you know, but sometimes I mean, with my life anyway, <laughs> sometimes you got to be on the road. You know what I mean? So I had to look at that. What are the portable ways that I can still keep my podcast going? While I'm on the road, what type of mic can I get? What all of these things I had to put into place in order for me to make sure that you know my podcast show can can not only exist but it can grow. That's the key, guys. You don't want to just have this dream and just have the dream. You want the dream to be able to grow and get better with time. There are still a lot of things that I have planned out. I have a practical plan ready to take this podcast show to a, another level with, you know, you guys coming in and being able to ask questions live online. I knew about this, but my thing is this. People ask me, oh, you should have all these sponsors by now. You should do this by now. You should. But I'm sticking to my practical plan. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people, they are on the outside looking in and they're like, wow, you should, you got all this content. You should, I get it. I get it. But I have learned so much about me. You get what I'm saying? And about the fact that I've always had huge dreams and I've always, you know, went after those dreams basically almost at the same time because that information just used to be coming at me. And I just felt like, OK, I got to do this before I can't do it no more. I got to do that. Or I got to, you know what I'm saying? I was just all over the place, all over the place. And I had to hone my own skills. I had to pull myself back. I had to, you know what I'm saying? Sit with myself and see what makes sense. What is it that out of all your talents and stuff, what, how can you make a practical plan that 
you can be consistent. Let's say it that way. You could be consistent and not drop the ball. So this is what I'm saying to you guys. Like you can have and you can do whatever you want to do. A lot of times, you know, I, I talk to people and they tell me about their dreams and their visions and their hype for that moment. Cause I know I'm a hype person. I'm I'm a hype, I'm a hype girl. I'm a help, I'm a hype woman. You know what I mean? I know how to hype somebody up just like that person on the stage with the performer. I know how to get somebody hyped about their dreams, about their visions, their goals, or whatever. Like you could do it, yeah. I'm that person. But what happens when I'm gone? What happens when I'm not on the phone or not physically around, you know, those people? Is like, do they keep that momentum? And that's what I'm saying. I'm sure that some of you guys might have a hype man, hype woman that always hype you up about your dreams and your visions and your goals. But the thing is, what do you do when they're not around? Do you lose that momentum? Because this is, at the end of the day, this is your dream. This is your vision. This is your goal. It's, it's not... It's not affecting, effecting, or whatever you want to say, that hype person. It is, it's yours. It's what God put on your heart. It's what the universe, the creator, however you want to say it, put in your spirit, your soul. That's calling for you to do. It can be something that's already in existence, but you want to make it better. You hear what I'm saying? It could be you. That dream could be you. You wanting to be better. You wanting to be a more organized person, a more consistent person, a more, you know, you still need a practical plan. You wanting to quit a bad habit or or things of that nature. You have to have a practical plan. How is it that you can adjust some things in your life that is practical, that is a simple way that doesn't overwhelm you? You know what I mean? That makes you feel like it's doable. It's not in theory. It's not an idea, but it's doable. It's practical. It's just basic. You know, this is, this is what we need to do. This is how we can make things come to life. This is how we can make our lives better in each aspect of our lives, rather it be, you know, eating right, rather it be Losing weight, rather be uh, our relationships with people is practical steps, is baby steps. You know, if you say if you're in a long term relationship and you, you know, we get in these long term relationships and then you get comfortable, you get comfortable with each other. And then it's like where the spark was in the beginning. It's just you just used to each other. So you just like you just expect, OK, this is where this is it. And this is the best it's going to get. No, you have to have a practical plan to jumpstart your relationship and get the spark back. Sometimes, you know, as people, we can get in our ego or our pride and we could be like, no, it ain't going to be me. I'm not. Well, I want it to be better, but hmm, they got to do it. They they need to. No, 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 no. It's whoever going to start the spark just need to be consistent. And then the other person will join in. And then next thing you know, it's almost like it's a whole brand new relationship. Same thing with, you know, rather it be your brothers, your sisters, your, your all of your, any, any type of relationship has the most of them. I'm not going to say all, because we know what, which ones don't, which ones, if it's something that's real negative and it's really toxic then no, you you might need to just remove yourself. But I'm saying that the ones that's just basic and just like kind of lost its spark, there's always hope. But there need to be practical steps. There need to be a date night. You know what I'm saying? If it's with your kids and you need to get the connection back, there needs to be, again, a date night on that level. Just talking, communicating, you know, with your kids, making sure you have dinner together, you know, start... Do something that you've never done before. That is a practical plan. It might be foreign, but it can be a practical plan. I talked before about how families really don't sit down and eat at the table anymore. And it needs that. That is something that 
was done throughout the old days, I guess you could say. Everything is so fast paced now that we think that's a hard thing to do. But no, it's not. If you have a practical plan for everybody's timing, you know, to set a time every day of the week or maybe start off maybe three days a week. It ain't got to be every day. Don't overwhelm yourself, but have a practical plan that, okay, everybody, guys, you know, we're going to eat together today. You know what I mean? At such and such time. No cell phones, no no computers, no nothing at the table. We're going to eat. We're going to get to know each other again because you can live with people forever and not even know them. You can live in the same household with people and not even know them. You can have family members and not even know them. You can know them to an extent, but not really know them. I was talking to um, my cousin that lives in Georgia. We was talking about that the other day, how, you know, he's younger than me. And I call him my little brother, too. But, you know, he really knew of me. He didn't really know me until I moved back this time. And even though I've, I've lived in Georgia and he lived in Georgia the same time he was in college, he always came to my house or whatever like that um, when he was in college and all that. And we communicated, we talked. We really got to know each other more than ever this go round because when I first moved down here, I stayed with him. And it was normally, it would be the other way around. He'd come to college, stay with me for a couple of weeks till he gets settled in college or whatever. But even then, it just was like he was doing his thing and I was working or whatever. But we really got to know each other in those couple months that I was staying with him. And we still get to know each other even more. And it's, and it's a great benefit to us both. You know, so you just never know when you have that practical plan and you make up in your mind that you're going to put forth the time to get to know a person, to um, to be to be concerned about their desires, their dreams. A lot of times we can just be concerned about ours, you know, and that's all we think about. Is our stuff. And we're not concerned about nobody else's stuff but ours. And so that can cause a disconnect in any type of relationship. You know what I mean? That can cause a disconnect in any. And I keep telling y'all when I talk about relationships, I'm not talking about just intimate relationships. I'm talking about friendships, coworkers, you know, brothers, sisters, cousins, uncles, aunts, all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, as we grow, we grow. And, um, we all experience different things in our life. So therefore we take on different forms, different attitudes, different energies as we go through life, different levels. So who you knew back 10 years ago might not be the same person, you know, even though you could have known them all your life, even though they are a family member, people change. Some for the bad and some for the good. But even if they so-called change for the bad, that's their path at their time that they have to take to learn more about themselves. See, I don't believe that everything is bad. You know what I'm saying? I, I believe that, you know, when things that are bad happen to you, um, it's kind of happening for you to look at certain things in your life, to look at certain people in your life, to look at certain attitudes and energies that you have going on within your life that you might need to release or you might need to adjust. That's what I look at it as. That has been my experience. When I look back at my journey and I look at all the different things that I have experienced um, that was so-called kind of really look bad, I really look at it like I now can see like, wow, that really happened for me because if it didn't happen, then I wouldn't have taken on this mentality or I wouldn't have did that or to get out of it or I wouldn't have learned this uh, skill set to help me uh, get things back in order. Whatever you're facing in life that looks horrible Trust me, if you just sit still and you ask the universe, you ask the creator, what is it that you want to teach me from this situation? What is it? What are the practical steps that I can take 
from this situation and I can apply it to my life to make things better or to make me go further or to create more wealth for me or to better my health or whatever it is. We have to learn how to stop within this busyness of life, within this uh, everything coming at us and all this information and all this, you know, oh gosh, this there's a lot of negative energy out there, but you have the choice to choose the practical steps and a practical path for you to stay on a high vibration. You have that choice. No one else, not nobody on the social media, nobody on TV, nobody around you, nobody lives with you, nobody at your job, only you. It all comes back to you. So when I hear people that blame others for how their life is or how the choices that they made or I'm just like bullshit. I'm calling bullshit because you're the only one that can control you at the end of the day. You are the only one that can control you. Even if you in a jacked up situation, even if you know what I'm saying, you just lost everything and whatever, you still have control over you. You have control over how you're going to move forward with your attitude, with your energy how you're going to, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to fall victim to whatever your situation is, or if you are going to move forward and take practical steps to become victorious over your situation. It's on you. Nobody but you. Now, of course, you can get help to get out the situation. Of course. But at the end of the day, again, we want to have to get we want to get to the point of being able to make the practical plan to rely on self first and to be open and receptive to get help from others. Let's say it that way. Because then you're still in control of your direction of life. Nobody's controlling it. You know, you're you're still in control of your direction of your path and your journey in life your dreams that you have, you know, some people can come in and you have these dreams. It's just like, you know, I'm going to use the record labels as an example. You can look at some artists where they started and they probably was like, kind of like a little humble or whatever. And then now they just like, Whoa, out the box. Like, what? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like it's because they allow the record labels to take control of their image. They might not even be that type of person as they're being portrayed on music or on a TV show or, you you get what I'm saying? Like, um, but once you sign on a contract, when it comes to things like the music business, I know this because. I turned down contracts with major labels and I started my own record label because of that reason. You know what I mean? I'm a woman. So of course they want to make women these sex symbols and get butt naked and all. And I just wasn't, I just wasn't that person. (laughs) You know what I mean? I believed in my gifts and my talents. So I wasn't about to do that, you know? So I realized at that point, okay, I know I would love to be signed with a major label because they can push me further. But what is a practical plan that I can create for myself to still get my talent out there? You know, how is it that I can get the right support and team to help me with my dream? And as they're helping me with my dream, eventually, you know, things take off the way it needs to is is funding enough for everybody's dreams to be pushed out. That was the plan. That was the practical plan. Although it stopped, I still drew a practical plan. I still went off of the information that I was given and 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 I made the choice for myself to not sign on a dotted line and to change and let people have control over me to change me, to change my image, to change who I am. 
inside and to change how I feel about how I want to be portrayed on the outside or the inside. You get what I'm saying? I had that control. Did I, am I making millions and zillions of dollars right now? No, I'm not. But you know what? I still got my dignity. I still own who I am. I still can flow and, and, and be myself. I don't have to appease everybody else's agenda because I never signed that con- those contracts. I took a stab at it in a practical way and created my own independent label. And from that, it wasn't a loss. Made some great relationships. We learned, we all learned from doing that record label. Every time I talk to any, anybody that was involved, they say how it, it just taught them some skill sets about themselves that they didn't even know they had. And they wind up going into different fields as far as work that they would have never went into had they not been a part of that label. So it wasn't a loss. It was a lesson learned. It was lessons learned for all of us that was involved, you know, and it was a fun time on top of that. <laughs> it was not a loss. So we got to look at life like that, guys. We got to look at our dreams and our visions in that way. Like, what did I get out of it? If it don't come all the way to pass, if it if things have to be readjust, you have to know when you need to let certain things go and start dreaming a new dream, a new vision, uh, readjusting the existing dream. Maybe even letting go of some people that's involved in that existing dream that might be a blockage towards it, to it. You know what I'm saying? And be open and receptive to the new. Be open and receptive to maybe n- new partnerships, new people, new a new way. Maybe you might need to uh, get virtual assistance to, to help you out with your dream. You know, things of that nature. A virtual just watching YouTube tutorials. I always say that. Google and things. It's out there for us, guys. It's out there. I know. I know. This is how I got the podcast show. I didn't learn from nobody physically. I literally took the time to make a practical plan. Okay, this week I'm going to research all the platforms. Next week, I'm going to go through all the platforms and I'm going to play with them and I'm going to see which ones, you know, how the connections are. The next week, I'm going to see how is it that I can get the podcast show on all the other major platforms. Obviously, me taking those practical steps worked because today the podcast show is being aired all around the world and it is on I don't know now, I think it's up to 20 or past 20 platforms in, in counting. You know what I'm saying? From three years ago. And the things that it's not doing right now is because I choose not to, because I am pasting myself with the show. I'm pasting myself now that I picked up a TV show. And even with that, I stopped the first uh, season at episode five because we learned a lot from those five episodes. And so now we're making making practical plans to readjust a few things. So when we do the next season, it'll be 10 episodes and it's going to be on more platforms, streaming platforms. So I've been just researching. It didn't come to a stop. I just stopped it at five because I'm like, yo, we could take this thing so much further. And I've been collecting the information and drawing my practical plan. So come the new year it's going to be on a whole nother level. (laughs) You know what I mean? It's going to be on other channels. It's going to be on more streaming platforms because I pulled myself back after we started learning about how things work and how we can make it better and how we could take it further. I I said, okay, I made the decision. Okay, we're going to stop at episode five. Bam, we're going to stop there. The TV channels are rotating those shows right now. And I'm just going to start the new year with the practical plan that I've been working on. But meanwhile, I still been doing a podcast show. I just finished up the the, um, self accountability challenge on YouTube. And if you haven't got in on it, get in on it because next week I'm going to announce Um, The winners of the first wave, I'll say it that way, because I think I'm going to do it a a few times because, you know, people are getting that. It's it's a recycling situation. I'm getting ready to recycle it other way, um, other ways. So the first wave of three winners um, I'm going to announce on next week's 
a podcast show. So if you are in on that contest, the Self Accountability Challenge YouTube, make sure you go log in and get on YouTube and take that challenge and watch the videos. And you'll see on the last episode, you got to do at least three comments on a three favorite shows or whatever that helped you talk about how it helped you or whatever and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Instagram, you know, things of that nature. And I'll pick three winners next week. Okay. So I'm going to, um, leave you guys, but I just hope you, you got a lot out of this, you know, anything that you want guys, you can make a reality. Every dream that I've dreamt, is I'm not going to say every, but majority of them. I wanted to write a book. I wrote it out in 2007. I made the practical plan. Now I, I have really three books published on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles and other online um, websites, you know, but I had to make a practical plan. I wanted to do the TV show. I did the TV show and it's still running on other platforms while I'm regrouping and working on, you know, a new plan. So these are big things that people really think that it's not possible. And I'm not saying this on no light brag, and I would hope you would not think that. I'm saying this because my goal for this show and every show is to push you guys. That's why I'm AD on your dream pusher, is to push you guys to believe in yourself, to know everything is possible. You don't have to have a boatload of money to make it happen. You do not. What you do have to have is consistency, perseverance. You do have to have that time to give out, to research and to learn. You have to be willing to learn, to research, to to try things out, to test things out, to fail, to get back up, to readjust. You have to have that type of mindset and that type of attitude, the go-getter attitude, the ambitious attitude. And whenever things don't go your way, you have to have the no quit mentality. I'm not quitting. I might have to readjust. I might have to redraw my practical plan, but I ain't giving up on me. Cause at the end of the day, that's what you'll do. If you quit, you giving up on yourself. Even if you got to regroup and you got to redirect your dreams, your visions and your goals, and it might be a whole totally different way. Do it. Do what you need to do because as they say, the, there's a lot of inventions, there's a lot of dreams that's in the graveyard. There's a lot of stuff that, a lot of money in the graveyards, a lot of money that's in those, in the dirt, in the graveyards. Why? Because so many people die with their dreams tucked away, their inventions, their visions that they never tried. Because why? Because they doubted themselves. Because they allowed people around them to tell them that they weren't capable, that they couldn't do it, that it could never become a reality. Because why? Because those same people never went after their dreams, their visions. Or if they did, they might have failed and they just gave up on themselves. So now they want to put that on you. Don't listen to those type of people. Do not. I'm here to tell you. That's why I roll solo a lot because of the fact that I don't need to hear what I can't do. I know what I can do. I know what I'm capable of. I've learned it from my grandpa when I was a little kid. And he told me out his own lips, you can do anything. Anything is possible with research and hard work. But you can do it. And you can have it. And I never forgot that. And that is how I walk and that's what I live by and that's how I raise my son and all the other kids that I had a hand in helping raise that's the that's the mentality I pushed on them all rather be my little cousins I've always pushed that mentality on them but you have to work for it nobody can do it but you and if somebody does it for you it's not going to last it's not going to last or it's not going to be the way you want it to be, the way God put it on your heart, the way the creator put it on your heart to do. No matter how old you are, whatever your dream is, do it. There was an 80-year-old woman that I read about that graduated from college at 80 years old because she always told her mom that she was going to get her degree because she went and she stopped or something like that. 
And she felt she needed to do it, not just for the fact that she, her mom was dead and gone, but she wanted to uphold that promise. But she realized that the generations after her needed to see something, needed to see that it's possible to have whatever you want. It's possible to complete a dream, a vision, no matter how old it is. But you have to move forward and you have to take the practical steps to make it happen. So I'm going to leave y'all with that. 80 years old, went to college. It wasn't that she had to go back to work. This is something that she did to prove to her family, her, her generations to come, that anything you want is doable. It don't matter your age. Start over again. Man, it's out here, guys. It's too it's too much out here. The internet is is here for you to to do what you want to do, okay? So, dust the old mindsets off. Dust the things that didn't happen, you know, let that go. Whatever you want, rather be house, car, uh fam, whatever you want, guys. Make the practical plan. Clean your credit, save your money, whatever. Make the practical plan and keep redrawing that plan until it comes to light. All right, guys. So with all that being said, definitely go to the YouTube channel, get in on that self-accountability whole series. And, you know, hey, guys, get out your own way if you're in your way. And if you're not, I just want to I'm proud of all of y'all. If you're listening to the show and you to this point of listening to the show, I'm so proud of you because that means that you are taking the time to invest in you. You're taking the time to learn something or to, to be motivated and encouraged to move forward in life. So I'm proud of you for whatever you're doing. And I'm, I'm just glad that you decided to take more practical steps to make you a better you. How about that? <laughs> so I just want to say thank you guys again for tuning in. Thank you for um, all the people that have supported my books, Visionary Dreaming, 90 Day Journal, Transform Your Life, um, Discover Your Purpose, and um, that's just been supportive all around the board. I appreciate you guys, okay? So, this is Zay Dion, and you are listening to Chronicles of Living podcast show, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. You know, it's extraordinary, folks, doing a damn thing the best way we can, and Guys, I just love you, and I will talk to you next Sunday. Peace. The Chronicles of Living. We can be whatever we dream. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Chronicles of Living podcast, where you find only the highest vibrations. Remember, you are extraordinary. And if you're pursuing your dreams, we're proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. Something better is always possible if you're willing to work for it and fight for it. Stay updated with Adion by visiting chroniclesofliving.com or stay connected through social media by following at Chronicles of Living. Until next time, your dream pusher, Adion.